Richard, the best you magazine. What do you think? What's your thoughts about it? Well, at first it was kind of skimpy to tell you the <laughs> truth, but issue by issue, you focused on describing the best of the best, which is the part I like about it. Uh, I mean, you can read about a successful person who uh, opened a chain of lingerie and, and uh, stores where, you know, those kinds of things were only sold in porn shops in the worst part of town. It's now become a luxury item on the high street. I think that no matter what anyone does that they do successfully, whether the CEO of a company that builds airlines or sells lingerie, that, or somebody who's the best salesman in the world, or an athlete that's high performance, I've always studied those people to find out how to do things right. And the fact that you interview them, you talk about them, you pull up people historically and get comments from that, and that you have a magazine that's all about success as opposed to coming up with names for what's wrong with the world. Uh, there's way too many doom and gloom magazines out there you know, where the tact on them is to blame this on the conservatives and this on the liberals and this on this and it's the Democrats or the Republicans. Oh, it's, it's, it's religious people that are bad. It's this that's good. Excuse me, but in everything from every domain and every walk of life, there are inspiring people. And to be able to read about them, have interviews with them, and to get quotes from the ones that are no longer alive and all the different things that are in there, uh, it means that the theme of the magazine is more inspirational. And to me, I, I, I find, because I read very fast and I read probably two or 300 magazines a month, and 90% of what I read is just absolute nonsense and garbage and not very inspiring. I'm looking primarily through scientific things, so I'm reading scientific journals. They're not the most exciting writers. But I'm looking to find those inspirational people, the people that stepped outside of the box shine the light of their mind in a new direction. And the fact that that's what's highlighted in the magazine, I think, is a great thing. Thank you, Richard. Thanks very much.